Alright everyone, Jordi Paul back here with a brand new video just to go through a few pickups I've got um, since New Year. Um, I hope you're all keeping well and the lockdown hasn't got to you too much. Uh, I've changed the background, you know, changed the scenery, etc. for my videos. Um, so we'll go through the pickups I've got and I'll tell you what's coming up um, on the channel in the next few months or so. So I've been kind of dabbling about with Cinema Diso, doing a bit of CEX vouchers. Um, so first up is Gemini Man 4K. Now I did have this originally, sold it because it was a good price at CEX. I do have the 4K version on my iTunes, um, but because this is the 60 frames per minute on the disc and it's only, is it 60? Uh, where are we? Yes, and it's only 40 or it's the other way around. So this is the better picture quality, not the best film, but if anybody comes around to my house and goes, oh, what's so good about 4K? I always put the, the um, the YouTube iTunes picture of this on it. Um, but yeah, with this different frames per second, it's so much better and it shows you a much clearer picture and just movement. So yeah, so that one there is my number one pickup. Well, I'll say number one, it's the second time I've got it, but that's that pickup. Uh, and I'm trying to get all these. Now I do have Disney Plus, but I am trying to get all these. Uh, I did own them all, but then stupidly sold them. And as soon as I sold them, they went up and skyrocketed in price. So I'm keeping an eye on eBay. Um, hoping to get all of these. So this is the, obviously the first season. I really want to get into these and once I finish these I'm going to crack on with Star Wars Rebels which uh, the lovely uh, Rob from Robert Fett's Bounty sent me so I'm going to get into that. Um, so yeah, so the Clone Wars. So if anybody knows from watching these videos if you're either selling them or you know how to get these ones cheap uh, let us know other than eBay and obviously the usual uh, sales outlets. And then coming up with uh, next, I seen this year, next year, whenever it's going to be, is going to be um, Ag Agatha Christie's uh, Murder on the Nile. Um, so I thought I'll get a Murder on the Orient Express. I do actually quite like this film. I do want it digitally, but I haven't got it 4K. So I wanted to own it on 4K. Um, so I got this with uh, some CEX vouchers. Uh, I haven't got the slip. So if you've got the slip, you don't want it, send it to us. It's just your usual bog standard clear discs. Nothing really important in that one. Um, no picture quality, even or pictures. No pictures on the discs themselves. Um, but yeah, so there's Manor Express. I do really like this movie. I haven't seen it. I definitely recommend it. Uh, and then the entertainment store on eBay did a two for twenty pound uh, on their movies, not movies, on their DC box sets. So I went for Doom Patrol. I have watched the first three episodes. I think I streamed them or something, um, but I never finished it off. So I thought, well full season for a tenner. It's been out for a while, so um, it did look quite enjoyable. Uh, I did enjoy the ones I did. You get your slipcase with it. So I'm looking forward to watching that one. And then the other one of the two for 20 was Swamp Thing, just the one season for this. Then it obviously got cancelled. Again, comes with the slip cover, so I'm looking forward to watching that one. And finally, um, so here's a story. I ordered on Zavi the I Know What You Did Last Summer trilogy, and I also ordered the Arrow version of Wreck. Uh, Wreck's a good film, you haven't seen it, definitely recommend you watch that. Um, but for some reason, it hasn't arrived. I, I think I ordered, um, I think it was the 31st of December that I ordered one of them, it hasn't arrived yet. Uh, and then randomly on Friday, I ordered myself a t-shirt uh, from Xavi. It was like the Back the Future one, 8 99 for a mug and a t-shirt. Ordered that Friday, that came yesterday. So how is it they can order you can order a t-shirt and a mug and you can get it within a couple of days, but then you order these things that haven't arrived. So I'm not too bothered about that. Anyway, so with regards on the back of I know what you did last summer, I thought, you know what? Recently the wife and I binged the first four, say first of all, there's only four screen movies. Um so I thought I'm gonna get back into the kind of nineties, early two thousands horror. And a lot of those essence of those of what Bloomhouse is doing. So I bought Truth or Death. Now this is not the best of films, but for what it is, teenagers getting stabbed and then the murders, a bit like Final Destination and things like that. It's all around the same kind of genre where people get killed off in different ways. I do actually quite enjoy this. It is watchable. This is the second time watching it currently. It is rewatchable. It was only about two quid or something. Um, so if you haven't seen that, give it a shout. It's not bad. It's similar lines of uh, Happy Death Day, Happy Death Day to You, uh, Scream, uh, I Know What You Did Last Summer. Uh, so yeah, on the back of that, uh, I pre-ordered the Urban Legend Trilogy uh, from Zavi. I don't know why I can go with Zavi. 
Um, so that's in the, so 88 Films have got the rights to that, so that'll be on the back of I Know What You Did Last Summer. I think that's due for a March release. So fingers crossed that actually comes on time. Uh, moving on to what's coming up. Uh, well, hopefully there may be a channel name change. I know it's currently Geordie Paul's movie and TV channels, but I've got a name in mind in which to change it to. My colleague Jimmy, or my friend, should I say Jimmy, uh, who's going to be doing some uh, movie reviews alongside me here when the whole lockdown and everything's lifted. He's, oh, I've asked him to look into possibly doing a logo for me. There's no pressure on him to do it. He can't do it. That's fine. I've just said, if you know, uh, he's, he's really good. Um, and another thing with Jimmy is he's really good. At, he's a good artist with regards to using his Mac to do the pictures. So we'll talk about that more when he gets on the channel. I'm looking forward to doing that. And then I've been in touch with uh, Movie Worm, Jordan. Uh, so in February, early weeks of February, we're going to do a Skype collaboration, going through our favourite movies, discussing those. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And hopefully I'll have some more collaborations in the future. I'd love to do one with Carl from Carlini09. Um, and also from Pete Blu-ray Bullet Ainsley. He's a really sound fella. Actually, all three of those are sound fellas. Uh, and who knows, if the lockdown's lifted, I might go and uh, pay Mondo Celebec a visit back in Whitley, where I'm originally from, even though I'm in Darlington at the minute. Um, go on his home and see what we can do. Go to his house. I might just turn up his doorstep, but then you'll have to know. Uh, so you're watching this, John, don't worry. I don't really know where you live other than my home. Um, I say my home, where I'm originally from, should I say. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of quite a lot of things on the horizon. Um, I'm going to do an unboxing of both Wreck and I know what he did last summer trilogy when they arrive. Good knows, was knows where that will be. And also, if you're watching this, have a quick look over at Cinema Diso. The eBay store, they're doing quite a few things uh, on the sale. They've reduced some of them. I've got Martin Scorsese's Silence for, was it, three or two pound? And I ordered, uh, dragged it, not oh, three pound, I dragged it, ordered, 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 dragged across concrete. Um, the guy directed Bone Tomahawk and um, Brawl and Cell Block 99, are both films which I enjoy. Uh, that was too good. So, I spent a five hour to get two more less newish movies. Uh, so, yes, we're there in the horizon, uh, but nothing else really. Um, but yeah, what do you think of the scenery? Change of scenery, gone with the moves in the background. I don't have loads. The rest of the ones I got down here, the ones are in the loft. Uh, but yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, let's get the subscribers going. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and once we hit that 200 subscribers target, we've got the movies to give away. Uh, we've got 54 to go, or 55, can't remember. Probably, I said it earlier on, but I'm just babbling now. Uh, go and watch my 200, wrote sub, two, wrote two, 200 subscribers uh, um, video, and that'll explain more. Um, so yeah, if you like it, share it, get everybody else involved. I'm looking forward to my collabs. Um, oh, before I go, go and subscribe to Alex Pitt's channel. He's doing a really, really good job. He just started uh, a couple of months before Christmas. He's already over 100 subscribers, 120 odd. And I loved him to reach 200 before me. His goal this year is to get to maybe 1,000 to 500, which is a great target and hope he can achieve it. So yeah, go and uh, subscribe to Alex Pip. He's a good lad. Uh, and that's it. One shout out. Uh, all the other shout outs are standard. Uh, that's it. So thanks for watching. This is Jordy Paul. Out. <laughs>